Welcome back to the most professional StarCraft 2 with the fastest player in the world on the top right in the red. It is the Italian Stallion. It's Rainer. But, yes, we're back again. Opposite him in the top left, it's Team Liquid's Frenchman. The kid. It's Clem. A best of five. Terran versus Zerg. And yes, another week has gone by, and we're back again at the kids table for another helping of the highest level, or at least the fastest, Terran versus Zerg matchup out there. And if you want another helping, it'd be awesome if I could get another helping of you liking and subscribing. If you haven't made it there yet, if you have, awesome. If you've decided not to, well, that's kind of mean, just like Reapers. But, uh, Jimmy, what are we... One... 1,282 likes on this video, on this series. And another Rainer versus Clem. And I'll cast another one. And statistically likely to be at least one of these two again, if not both next week. But thank you for watching. Hopefully you've had a good day so far. And hopefully it's about to get just a little bit better. As, yes, here we go again. The Reaper, 3cc. Looks to be, oh, Brenda, what are you doing down there? I'm gonna get him one of these times. One of these times! I don't... That was... Okay. Oh my... <laughs> and the grenade! Ugh. I'll have my revet. Reaper gets away this time. As it always seems to. But, zergling speed about done 3 CC. We'll see if Clem has something up his sleeve besides your standard... Well, does he run by with the Heliots? Have we gotten over it? It's like, uh... uh the... Clem has been running by with the Hellions for the last few weeks. But it feels like it's a bit played out. And Rainer is building six more lings. I feel like the damage... The meta damage has been done. All right, when you run by for two or three weeks in a row in at least half of your games, you've now killed drones without ever killing a single one. All right. Rainer has built... Oh my god. It's just... The grenades are perfect. Like, literally pixel perfect. He could not have scripted it better. He splits the queens off to the side, takes out the creep tumor, takes most of the damage on the reaper, which heals, by the way, better than the queens do. Don't tell them that. And now, he's not running by. He's already baited out the Zerglings. Though, he can't be entirely sure of it. In building a dozen lings here, Rainer, that's six drones that uh, are not on the field and keeps Clem competitive in the worker count. It is kind of expected at this stage of the game that Zerg takes a lead of some sort as Terran is focused more on getting that third command center up and uh, building up the infrastructure while still incrementing out the SCVs. We do have Stim behind. It's going to be Cloak for the Banshees. Uh, a staple of, of early game ZVT uh, throughout the ages. and, and fa In fact, for most of Clem's life. Um, Clem. StarCraft 2 is about two-thirds as old as Clem himself, so. Well, the Queen's in the center. Not, and there's a grenade. Hits two. The Banshee is in the main currently. Finding an angle on the drones. Gonna start racking up the damage. The queens are off of creep here. One of them gonna be roasted. And had to reposition the spore entirely. Near perfect micro from Clem on both fronts. And Rainer, he has enough drones to, to weather the banshee damage. But you can't, you're not gonna be happy about it. Losing five drones, losing a queen. The Hellions are still intact. The creep spread is minimal. Uh, especially with this many queens, you really want to be spreading the creep out far past this point. But there's no overseer. Brendan, did you forget the overseer? He, they just came out of nowhere. I don't. <clears throat> but the banshee's keeping things busy. He actually takes out one with the overseer, so some vengeance there. But uh, despite all of this, Rainer is at 70 drowns. Now the big loss here for him. The Evo Chambers. Without the Evo Chambers, the upgrades are going to be significantly behind. Clem is already halfway done with his 1-1. One, one. The Evolution Chambers are not even completed. So Rainer has focused. Well, he's got a Spire on the way. It looks like he's heading towards Muta's. And a risky business at that. It's going to be Macro Muta's. 
something that required, well, possibly only Rainer has the APM to pull off. Uh, and even then, it can be very dicey against the M&M and M&M. The Marines, the Marauders, well, you can probably cut the Marauders up. The Marines, the Medivacs, and the Mines that Kalem is bringing to the table. And he's already going to have 1-1. One, one. Does he have an armory done? Indeed he does. This is still possibly one of the last series, the last week of the ESL Cup on the old patch before the Widow Mine gets its um, slight radius nerf, the visual change. You'll notice. You'll see. And, and you'll you'll see the clickbait as well. You'll know. Um, but just the Widow Mines we know, and uh, if we're a psychopath love. Well, the Marines, 1-1 one, one is done, hitting the moment the armor completes. The Widowmon's in position. Gonna eat a shot with the Overseer. Actually gets transfused. The Hellbads joining in on the action. They've survived this long. Here come the Lynx from the back. The Mine, he picks up. The Mine hits everything underneath, but Raynor is able to deflect the first attack. Another drop is loaded up, headed towards the north. So, a uh, bit of a, a, a draw there, a stalemate from the first aggression. Now we have eight mutas on the way. The Marines looking for an angle, but not willing to overstay their welcome as the queens are moving up. Another drop is headed for the north. And we'll be able to clear the creep here. I guess he doesn't have a scan back at home. No, no energy. Looks like he actually doesn't have the energy. Just used whatever he was able to get on the scan. That will deny the base. At least for now, that Rainer is looking to take. Already queuing up a hatchery, which is a bit optimistic here. But might as well go for it. The mutas are on the field. And chasing down some of these marines. Actually pulling back the individually hurt muta, which will heal. And the medivacs will not, considering they're pretty much out of energy and pretty soon out of life. But saved by the reinforcements. Switch the difference with the banelings. Able to take out the widowmons underground. And now coming in with another group of marines. Well... Who could have seen that one coming? Takes out the hatchery. The muta count starting to grow. Is Burrow done? No. Rainer. Oh, the Baneling's actually rolling in, getting huge connections, but the muta's being thinned out. Another Baneling. Still ridiculous hits. Ones that certainly uh, uncharacteristic mistakes out of Clem. And mistakes is a bit of a strong word for the situation of actually looking like a human. But the Widow Mines hitting both sides. And Clem is driven back. The mutas should be enough to clean it up. The Overseer left the Widow Mines behind, and we've seen this story before. It's a dangerous one to continue. More Banelings rolling in. And, well, that Marine will survive. It was left behind in order to drag the hits out. Awkwardly survives, and that's going to be a weird conversation when he gets back. Overseer's eating some more Widow Mine hits, but the ones at the back have recharged. One of them triggers. The other one should be taken out quickly. Raynor still has 91 drones. Does he have an infestation pit? The scourge of every Muta player getting stuck on Lair Tech for too long. And he cancels the hatch and the Widowbind triggers and kills the drone, which, you know, feels a bit. I don't know if Clem retargeted that one or if he just got the nicest shot off, but Raynor plummets in supply. He's about even with Clem now, when once he had about a 20 supply lead and starting to take some severe losses, especially to the mines, of course. 1-1 one, one is done, plus two attack for Clem. He's just now working on the armor upgrade. More mines firing off screen. It looks like these ones are mostly diffused. The Marines are coming up. The Mutas, plus one fire attack on the way, as is the infestation pick. A Marauder at the front. He's building a lot more Marauders to tank the damage. Widow Mine dealt with... And Clem is driven back yet again. And the stamina, but still, the breadcrumb mines being chased down. Muta's up to the north side now, no longer combined with the army. It's just too much of a danger as the Widow Mines from downtown will take out a wave of Banelings. The Muta's trying to get the damage done. I don't think a supply depot is worth the effort right now. Gonna cut off a few of the Marines, but the most of the Marines concentrated to the south. In autumn colors, the stims maybe a bit too much. The Widow Mines doing terrible, terrible damage to both sides and will actually soften up much of the medivacs. He's trying to chase them down. Intercepts with the mutas. The mines intercept the mutas themselves. The marines are dropping out. The mutas don't have enough HP left over. And clam the fireworks throughout the field. The mines are not being cleaned up. The overseers have been taken out. Some of them straying into the mine fire themselves. And this game of Minecraft versus Zerg is becoming quite a struggle. 
which has another fun as well, but more widow mines. He's trying to turn him against the Terran, but Cloud, the momentum keeps shifting. Marines, mines, marauders, medevacs, and momentum. The Penta M's here. As Clem, the tide rolling in. The mutas aren't enough. The Baitlings seem like they get good connection, but there's still so much bio left over. More of it. The Baitlings just aren't getting the job done. More Banelings are coming out. He's gonna target fire, grinding through the Zerglings. Banelings should complete at near point blank range, and a bunch of Marines are gonna go down as Clem overstayed his welcome. He has to redirect the mines, or, or the Metavacs away from the mine splash damage. Unburrows a few in order to draw them out of there. Raynor is getting a hive on the way. He's still got 92 drones, but Clem hits him again from the north side. Another base gonna be hit by the drops. There's a mine underneath. And the autumn colors continue deep into the orange and red. But those units are still alive, at least for now. The Metavac's unable to heal them with no energy, but reinforcements on the way. Another base is taken out. Raynor losing so many Zerglings. Explosions yet again. And the Muta's coming up. The Ghost not so bad against them. But not going to be left. Well, don't want to leave them on their own. There's a Fusion Core on the way. I don't think that one's for Battle Cruisers. Almost certainly for Advanced Ballistics Liberated. But the Muta's actually finding a surprising amount of damage. But speaking of surprising damage, uh, the group of Marines back into the main. He's got 3-2 versus 2-2 two -two on the deck here. And the Marines are just gunning down. Dozens of Zerglings, 340 down so far and counting. Picks up the Marines right before the Banelings find a connection. And Raynor is struggling to keep it together. The Muta count continues to grow. He's lost 31 Mutas in counting. Gonna lose at least one or two more cleaning this up. Another attack to the south. But who's the Zerg now, says Clem. The mines obliterating. They don't know, the Banelings don't know where to go. The ghosts lining up their shots, Tiki out some of the overseers. The ghosts themselves not so bad against the Lings and Banes, or even the Mutalists. Another group of Lings and Banes, but the mines are just zoning out. And Raynor, he's keeping it together. He's holding 700 APM of defense, but that's gonna be the amount of Zerglings and Banelings lost momentarily if he keeps up like this. In fact, I'm not sure how much longer he can keep going at this rate. The snipes land on the mutas. The widow mines land on absolutely everything. Clem has more mines where that came from. The same factory. He has his entire half of the map. Another widow my head takes down a medevac. Ah. Uh. Rainer will hold for now, but he has no hive tech. He, he finished a hive, but he doesn't have Adrenal Glands, he doesn't have Ultra List, he doesn't have Lurkers. I could keep listing it, but suffice to say, the hive tech is mostly um, for decorative at this point. And the Ghost, still a solid option against the Mutaling Bane. The Mines clearly showing their value. Clem trying to get his prize money's worth before the arguable nerf. And so far, earning it. Oh god, the target fire on the Banelings under the Mutas. Just immaculate. Trying to split against the mines. Actually, he's putting a bit too far. Deals with another one. Ran her down to 140 supply. Clem, comfortably. Uh, he has all the, ba the income. The army by every metric here and even some imperial units at the end of the day Clem is far ahead Raynor is holding on but only just five six liberators I think those are anti-air liberators I mean they could be used for anything but he drops it another wave of mines oh no the transfuse on the queen, but... There's still a mine here. He has to uproot and bring the spore all the way. Come on down, Robbie! The mute account, 21. He's gonna clean up the mine. But Raynor... There's, there is Burrow, but he hasn't found an opportunity to use some main mines. Clem at 500 APM is down. He's just keeping the pressure on right now. I can't believe we're seeing Liberators. I can. 
Back in the day when Liberators, well, could do this and then siege up the ground. You needed less Liberators, though. Well. Brainer is working on 3-3 upgrades, but he's now working on 2Gs. As game one will quite decisively go to Clem. A solid, just unbreakable wall of bio. Well, not really wall, but just a absolute minefield that running through is nearly impossible. <sighs> Rainer getting a bit more mileage out of the Mutas than I think almost anyone could. But at the end of the day, just far too vulnerable to the scattered minds. The efficiency of Terran with medevacs and marines all throughout the field. It's very hard to make the mutas work. Though I do applaud this Zerg Zerg for trying. But that brings us into game number two. Clem up one to zero as we head into Oceanborn. We'll see if Raynor drowns under the tide of marines or is able to rise up against it. And Clem has to go creeping back to his base. I think the SCV scout. I like the SCV scout. Just in case. A lot of Terrans, especially Korean Terrans, notoriously, won't do the SCV scout. Um, and we'll get caught by, by roach timings, early pools. That's not necessarily a game ender, but it certainly doesn't help. Whereas Clem here, knowing that the biggest danger is, is especially that early game. If he gets the ball rolling, if he gets three CCs up and running, and he's uh, like going onto the, the tracks of a freight train. Freight train filled with widow mines that are burrowed inside of the train. Stone would be very unhappy with this. Co-op players know what I'm talking about. Wait, no, they're trucks. The train mission is a different guy. Stone is the trucks dude. He loves his trucks. Hell yeah, brother. But also not really. Just to be accurate. Thank you. Like and subscribe. I actually able to get the hatch here. Queen coming down. Maybe this time. Friend up. You're never gonna get him. All right. Call me Ahab. No, no, Brenda. That's not a good. Okay. Third command center on the way. Will we see? Right, if it ain't broke, we got a small Zergling counter. Speed isn't done. There's only one Marine. And it will be caught. Though it doesn't want to risk it. May get an SCV or two. That is a win. It's something. It's... The SCV dodges. Also curious that Clem has this gas, but he doesn't have... Did Rainer scout the whole main? Hmm. Well, he saw the third CC. He confirmed that everything looks as uh, you'd expect it to. But... I don't know if he realizes that that Clem is, that was his second gas at the natural. It's likely, and he knows the options with the the one one one, the Destiny Cloud Fist build, if you will. But oh my God, the bounce is perfect, and there's no energy for transfuse. Brenda, no. Oh God, the Queen's getting bullied even more than usual by the Frenchman. <sighs> hmm. He's, he's so like one reaper. That's it. That's it. Like, he did so much out of it. Emotionally and physically. The full package here from Clem. All right. Hellions darting back and forth. He's, he's done a great job of keeping them alive, still keeping the pressure on, and then combining them with those Hellbat pushes as well. Just adding more and more value. They can also combine with Siege Tank, uh, Siege Tank timings. 
The Cloak Banshee finds its way into the natural, actually dodges with a spore and should be repelled with relative ease. There is a lair nearly done. Uh, Jimmy! I know I love when people subscribe, but it's now the time! Also, turn your face off. Oh, no. <clears throat> Sorry. I apologize for disturbing this, the sanctity of this series. It will be punished. Consequences will be, uh... Forthcoming. The queens chasing down the banshees and so far done a good enough job that rainer's been able to get up to 68 drones his evo chambers aren't too far behind clem's one one and uh the fourth base will go well at least be most of the way to finishing without too much damage the hellions on the edge of the creek but he knows he was spotted backs off immediately Armory's on the way. In fact, a little quicker than even the 1-1's one -one finishing, which indicates, I think, he wants to do a bit of a Hellbat timing here. Uh, moving out those first two medevacs, kind of lining up with 1-1 one -one finishing. Um, but maybe... Oh, my God. Hey, boys. In the, in the pipe 5x5, five five, am I right? Am I... Yeah. Where are we going? Yep. Yeah, I'd shoot at that overlord. We I hate overlords. Yeah, am I right? Who is this dude? Hey, why weren't you shooting? I don't Yeah, let's go get him. I don't That changeling, actually a huge deal here. As Raynor has been building up to deal with this for, well, essentially since it moved out with the top-notch changeling. So that means he should be in position to collapse and crush this. Baneling speed just finished. Yeah, Raynor is set up to deal with this on both fronts. But he's losing some of the queens. He needs to pull the trigger quickly before 1-1 one -one is done. Target fire onto the Banes is good to start. And we'll just drop the Marines away. The Banelings are exhausted here. The queens are always tired, and in this case, very low on energy. And... Oh, no. Well... Uh, enough Zerglings. Uh, no changeling. Left behind. Feeling a bit conflicted in this whole scenario. Wonders what it would be like to be inside a medevac. Oh. Hey, boys. How are you guys been? Ah! Oh, no. Changeling taken out. Traitor in the midst. Eliminated. And, well, Raynor pretty much had everything he could. And more changelings. Never gonna replicate the success. Overseer transfuse, but Raynor did about as well as he could defending that push, and it still was uh, a tough trade overall. Losing now 1,600 more minerals. Not too much this early on. A trend that he certainly doesn't want to continue. And this time around, it's definitely, well, Hydralis. A much more uh, reliable counter, especially to this medevac mine play. Able to outrange the mines. Really anything to give range here. Takes out a couple marines and drives away the medevacs as well. Hive is on the way. Probably the most important part of going Hydras is the extra gas you have banked up in order to deal with it. Overseer in position, but out goes the medevac. Wow. And ascends to the heavens. Another Widow Mine dragged out. I feel like Clem is definitely retargeting this, though. Uh, retargeting some of the mines at the last moment to fire on other targets. Which is quite difficult to do, and players really don't expect it. Um, can find a ton of success with it as well. Yeah, definitely retargeting here. But, while he was retargeting, a few Banelings wandered in. And with it, again, Raynor is able to repel Clem. But most importantly, he's not doing any counter damage. That means Clem has a Ghost Academy, a fourth base, and a fifth base on the way. 2-2 is about to finish. Raynor is holding, but he's not pushing back. 
And that means Clem is getting further and further along. He's ahead in supply. Drags out some of these vines here. This is going to be a tough fight otherwise, even off a creep for Clem. The target fire on the Banes is good. Boost the medevacs. Another attack, another mine. 2-2 two, two now done. Not going to be a uh, long-term advantage for Clem, uh, as now Rainer has his 2-2 two, two nearly completed. Viper's on the way. Lurker range in production. But ghosts are there first. Ghost going to be out before any lurkers. Trying to drag the Widow Mine into the Terran army to pretty great success. The Marines go flying. But not enough dying. And the Rainer is pushed back again. Or at least forced back by the bio army committed to the north side. Four or five medevacs of bio here. Widow Mine's on the back line. Will fire off at point blank range, damaging a lot of the medevacs, but not quite killing them. Loses a couple. Clem overstaying his welcome, underestimating the anti air capabilities. But the pressure just continues to be on. Rainer finally gets a bit of breathing room, but hasn't been able to get any lurkers on the field. There's already four ghosts in counting. Seismic spine's done. Lurker's finally in production. But Clem is just laying on the pressure. <sighs> the Banshees are still alive. How many kills? Zero? Alright, well, they gotta earn their keep here. Uh, the rare zero kill Banshees on the field. But he kept them alive. And definitely can add, especially dealing with counterattacks. Or just like uh, bases, hatcheries that just started. Surprisingly annoying. You know, lurkers, maybe. Lurkers can't shoot up much to their dismay. Oh my god, the Widow Mine's getting massive connections! Oh no, the Parasitic Bomb's actually killing several medevacs and damaging the rest. Where are the Banshees when we needed the most to deal with these lurkers? But the scan's gonna help clean things up. He's trying to dodge the scans, but between the concussive shells and the snipe, he's able to hunt them down. But Clem still, with all the initiative here. Rainer trying to grab some back. Deals with that. He hasn't repaired the back. Oh my god! That was perfect target fire. Somewhat blunted by the follow-up. But, okay, one more time. I need to go back. That wasn't just a, a lucky spree there, right? Like, the Banelings were not the first targets. No. One, two, three, four, five. One and done. Yeah, and then, and then he, he loses a couple medevacs and a bunch of marine marauder, but he picks out those five mainlings. Yeah, they were pretty obvious, but God, when you're faced with that, it's so hard. Like, the mainlings become such an unreliable unit. He's building 24 more. You have to, you have to, uh, um, make up for their lack of quality with a severe quantity. And even when you think you have enough, you're always going to need more, and Rainer seems to agree. The Banshees are used for those lurkers. Rainer is maxed and starting to bank money. He's got the creep spread pushed back out, at least to the southern side. The north is filled with more command centers than creep tumors, it feels like. But falling back. EMP on to the Vipers. Only one Viper with energy left intact. The Banelings are roll, roll, rolling all the way through. Up to the high ground. Banelings. Connecting with the Marines. A lot of them go flying, but overall, Rainer not able to make much progress, and most importantly, not able to break that location. Clem immediately scans to the north, wants to see if Rainer has enough economy to just continue refilling his army. And if he doesn't have that base, the answer is uh, not so much. A whole bunch of, uh, of lurkers are headed to the north side, and actually catching Clem off guard. Perfect timing as he's clearly dealing with the lurkers and distracting Clem, and for the first time, it feels like Rainer has gained a bit of initiative. But the Banshees! The Banshees! The home defense against the lurkers splits them off and drives them back to the creep. The Burrow Festers. Rainer pulling out all the tricks. Well, at least the most well-known ones. Again, so rare to see those from Rainer, but... They are the method to beat the ghosts. They're your best opportunity to hold the ghost down. 
and absolutely annihilate them. But it gets caught in the scan, and now Clem just scanning everywhere as the first burrowed infester was revealed, and now he's not taking any chances. He has seven orbital commands. He essentially has map hacks on approximately 20% of the map at any time, and he's going to use it. All right. Terrans would rather take up a job at Costco where they can scan repeatedly than build a raven. Uh, work 9 to 5, which for Clem would be a massive deal, considering waking up at 5 is the standard. Then build a raven. But here we are. And there's no infester in order to hold those ghosts down, which means eventually they're able to back off the creep and line up their shots. But more banelings are coming up. The lurkers are distracting him. That's why he's not targeting down the banelings. Again, the lurker timing, finding an angle. And it's making progress. This is what's allowing Rainer to move forward. And oh, the snipers from both sides lining up and knocking out the lurkers on the ground. Will be obliterated. The infester shocking its way through. Looking for an opportunity. Scans for it. Will he see it moving? He's scanning again. The ghost somewhat spread out here. He's got to anticipate a Caduceus reactor. He's actually... Oh, he already got advanced ballistics. All right. The Infester a bit late here. Does he see it moving? If it's not moving, you can't see it. This patch or the next. Does he notice? This is it. If you're ever going to have a timing, the Infester, the fungal is good. It finds the Metavax. It finds the Ghost. The Banelings will roll in. It wasn't perfect. But more banelings rolling. The ghost of the better one. He actually manages to get away at the last moment. The hot pickup. The liberators are here to deal with the hydras. The hydras with an odd angle. The orbital tries to land, which was optimistic. He takes out all the detection. There's still one overseer. If he takes it all out, he'll be able to cloak with both the banshees and the ghosts. But Rainer, he keeps the pressure on. He's been able to turn it around on Clem, but Clem is still holding. He's still got 160 supply to 180. And the fact that Rainer isn't maxed out, well, he has gas in the bank. But he's supply blocked because he lost so many overseers. Ah, okay. Well, it happens, especially against Glenn. Hmm. Our liberators. Taking out a Hydra. Another wave is loaded up. Clem fortifying his defenses. He's got a Venn diagram of freedom here. The Liberators looking to hold on. The turrets to cover the defense. The Widowmine is going in and obliterates a medevac. The Hydras will knock out the Liberators. The Widowmine scrambling to find an opportunity. And Rainer is able to take out the front line. But, oh no, a Widowmine from the left flank. And a whole bunch of Banelings with it. He yanks in the ghosts. But to what end? Raynor loses a lot of supply in that fight. The Infester is a bit late. We'll show up now, but... Clem. Even supply does not favor the Zerg, especially with these sort of armies. Target... Oh my god. It's... It's beautiful. Terrifying. Disgusting. And inspiring. All simultaneously, Clem's play. Between the Widow Mine uh, explosions and the aimbot level target fire. It just feels like he can turn any fight at any time. And you, even if you play perfectly, well, it's still difficult. Gunning down the drones. The infestors are here, but the drones won't be for long. He's just, he's unable to keep up with it. 700 APM, not enough to keep up with Clem's 500. The medevac taken down, but 21 drones. That is critical economic damage. Rainer may have taken this base, but a Liberator has taken up position here. Gets yanked into the Queen. Clem is like, all right, <laughs> and flies away. Refuses to allow, and the Banshee! Is back for more. A fungal, but... And then... The ghosts line up their shots, arcing around and gunning them down the firing squad. And he knocks out the lurkers. And Rainer with an incredibly hard-fought game, too. 600 zerglings. 45,000 resources. 
almost 80k resources in less than 20 minutes. But again, Clem stands strong, holds the line. It was a little harder this time, but clearly not hard enough. That's two for Clem. Rainer's so close, it seems, but the lurkers finding the opportunities. Really, it's not so much. The only APM that seems to matter here. Attention per minute. The amount you are able to keep Clem especially distracted. And Rainer, obviously, but it seems to be much more on Rainer keeping Clem busy. Um, the amount you're able to keep him busy. So that way you can actually hit his units with things like Banelings. Because if it's just one fight, if even if there are ten Banelings there, it doesn't seem to be enough. You need to keep him looking the other way for as long as possible. So, that should be the priority. Going into game three on Golden Aura. Rainer, just not able to find the success. I don't know exactly how Serral does it. But... Rainer as arguably the second best Zerg in the world. You can make an argument for Dark, you can make an argument for Solar. But I think Rainer has a solid claim to it. Um just the infestors just don't work. They're just not enough. When they go perfectly, it still seems like they come up short. You need the Lings, the Banes, the Vipers in position, and the Infestors in position, and it all comes together. And even then. God. He's just getting so much out of every single unit. This time! This time! Come back here. Oh, no. He teased him. That was incredibly intentional. That little dance. The, uh, the emotional... The feeling of the Reaper versus the Queen. And the Reaper just versus Zerg in general. This kind of flirting early on. But in a hostile way. So, uh... Oh my. Will they, won't they? And it's up to the Reaper most of the time to decide. Oh my god. I'm just stutter stepping, like holding down hold position. He knows how tilting it is. Though Rainer is one of the few players who, who's come back from 2 0 versus Clem before. Um, and he seems to be pretty solid against, or at least well balanced against tilt, if you would. Or counterbalanced. I'm not sure which one's accurate, but. He's come back in high-profile series. From 2-0 deficits. But Clem is looking absolutely scorching right now, and I'm not talking about his Hellions. Just... pixel perfect. God, that, that grenade pushes out of the way, and this time! He's going roaches! And this time he runs in with the Hellions! There's nothing here to defend! He's trying to block beautiful Evo Chamber block, but he's still going to find some kills. This was about as good... That was a near-perfect defense from Rainer. Like, that could have easily been a dozen drones. Even then, he loses five. But now... No, the Hellions weren't going to do much against the Roaches. Clem's like, no, 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 I just need Medivacs and seven Marines. The Roaches are on the way across. But he is just going to have, like, literally seven Marines, so... <laughs> Two Medivac. Stim is nearly done. Clem with a quick Stim. A uh, 3 2 one, one sort of build after this. But the Marine count, I think, is high enough. Somebody left sand on that Tipo. A bit of an odd look there. I'm gonna delay one of the Diva. Actually, force a cancel. Critical logistical damage there. But now... Clem's gonna turn these stimming. He's chasing the roaches down. Who will turn. But it looks like Clem willing to trade some marines for the roaches. And it's starting to become... Oh my. Well. Now, now Raynor has to build more roaches. 
and slouches at that. He doesn't have a lair even done yet, about to. Um, instead of drones. And this, like, roaches are, are a kind of a low economy unit, but ideally you have a higher economy, or at least more army supply than the Terran, but that's just not the case right now. The pervert pillar overlord, Clem was loading at the drop, which was kind of implied, but he makes sure to clear the overlord first, just to be sure. One, one. On the way. It is going to be melee attack. Where's the Bane Nest? Melee attack in Carapace. The fourth base, stutter step. And he gets away with it. The Queens get some damage on one of the medevacs, but fourth base delayed. Infestation pit on the way. Road to speed. As Rainer filling in a lot of different options here. Second factory already. I think Clem both, well, he's been focused on the mines, but if he wants to go mass tanks, that's the way to do it. A little bit of everything. There's the main nest out of Rainer. Yeah. Clem must not have any scans. Otherwise, very surprising he didn't try to scan the creep. Hmm. What is he doing? He's trying to bait something. Or he just literally doesn't have energy. <laughs> so clear. Gets a huge swath of creep tumors. Oncologist Clem on the job again. That's Dr. Clem. Dr. Admiral Clem to you. Okay. <laughs> Esquire. Ah! Spore Crawler! Yeah! Something! Medivac, take it down. And the scan spots the hive on the way. Doesn't know the exact time he started, but ballpark. Uh, good enough in order to craft a response. We'll see if a ghost academy starts soon or if he just turns up the aggression. Somehow more than he already is. There's the ghost academy. Another base. Well, fourth base nearly done. He's keeping uh, Raynor off any additional bases. Has a drop just waiting for it. In fact, that creep tumor is actually in the way of the base. Uh, even if Raynor did want to expand there, which, you know, isn't a permanent block. And, and Clem will clear that up for him. What a nice guy. Ultra Cavern. Vipers. In production. So Raynor going to try yet another angle. This time, the Ultras are the choice. Which are quite a lot. Literally the largest unit. Well, they've gotten small. They went on a diet plan. Um, which, you know, they cost a little less. They're a little smaller. A um, little easier to use, but we'll see. Thing is, you have enough Ultras. And sometimes that's that can get the job done. It's a very brute force approach. Cyril also has been using Ultras lately, as everything else just seems too fragile uh, against those Bio and Liberator armies. Clem loads it all up. There's no anti-air left to deal with it, but should be able to at least clear that hatchery. Another drop. Or not even drop, I guess he just walked out. Splitting the forces here. Titan is plenty on the way. Adrenal glands. The hive tech rush may pay off for Raynor. And there's not enough ghosts to really uh, backstop any of these pushes. Clem has sensor towers covering all his bases. We got more command centers on the way. He's just targeting the base. Parasitic bomb. Quarantine's one medevac. Just slightly. Just stay. Social distance. Uh. Plus two vehicle we or plus one vehicle weapons done. Plus two two on the ground for Clem, but Rainer not far behind. Oh no, the medevac! Ah, let me out! <laughs> ah, he catches him looking the other way, hits him with a second para bomb, and takes it down. And now Rainer has carved out the map for himself. He hasn't been able to get those extra hatcheries, but he should be expanding aggressively now, as Clem is doing inside his base. Will eventually float out. The mainlings 
gets out of there the moment before the gross about burrows on the way i wouldn't put it past renner to just burrow some banelings at the edge of the watchtower in fact that might not be a bad idea at all titan is plating ultras gunning down the banes just incidentally there at the front meanwhile more banelings looking to roll through but there's a couple widowmans to make it much more difficult to connect and the mine at the front oh a bunch of banes down with it and the drops driven back again renner just has enough army supply to drive back both sides he's at 85 drones which is a bit lower than we've seen in previous games and that means he has a bit more to throw around of course slightly less economy though as well the ravagers he dodges the ravager with the with the mine those drilling claws paying off to infuriate the zerg and believe me it is infuriating Clem just how many command centers he's building three more orbitals and two more command centers so he's gonna have six orbitals he's got two planet he's in double digit command centers the ccpm right now is too damn high or just high enough yes, it is an investment in the future because at some point you don't want 87 scvs you want as much army supply mostly ghosts as possible and Clem is working towards that mode I expected the mine to move. <laughs> Rainer has been able to establish the gold base. Is going to start mining from it. The longer he's able to hold on to it, the bigger deal it is. As uh, the contested bases in the corner seem like they're going to be a focal point of this match. The ghost count is so damn high. He's got 16. And the ultra is looking to match it. Well, not going to be equal in number, but... Still takes about five hits from the snipes to take him down. I had choke point. Mm. Suffocating here with a Zerg. 3-3 will now be done. On the ground, plus three melee attack, plus three carapace. Not bothering with the ranged attack. Queen's not the main fighting unit. Contrary to popular belief. He's, he's just giving up. He's just going to kill his own roaches instead of giving them away and giving away what he's trying to do. I like it. All right, because the Roach is unlikely to get more than a handful of supply and clearly giving away a tech switch as well. But five Ultras on the field. Clem knows there are Ultras. I believe he spotted them, but he doesn't know the number, um, the commitment. And, oh my God, there's so many commands there. Seven, nine, uh, 12. They're all over the place. All different flavors. Five command centers. Come on. Widowmind. Of course, one shot Ravagers. Ravagers, two shot Widowmind. Uh, the Zerglings. That, uh... Corrosive Biles onto the Ghost, but most of the Snipes go off. Another base in the corner. The Ghost at point-blank range, but not enough. The Ultra is not able to get the damage to interrupt them. The army is mostly ghosts at this point. Clem has now lost eight ghosts. Even targeting changelings with a liberator. Clem doesn't know about the bottom left corner. Rainer has been mining some of the gas here, but only for a minute or two. And Clem is about to build a forward planetary fortress. Well, he's certainly looking to uh, lock down this position. Oh no, Brenda, come back! Liberator's taken out. He's just building an orbital. Why not? I guess a planetary makes for a juicy target. Whereas an orbital, you can just lift off, and there's really no anti air. But a spire is done. He finds the base. And now spots the bottom left corner. We'll move to deal with it. And gonna try to take out both corners of Rainer simultaneously. Gets the hatch to the north side. Rainer didn't even attempt to defend it. Caduceus reactor now on the way. Advanced ballistics already completed. Another command center. I can't tell if it's being built or landing. Looks like it's landing over here. The ultras. The fungal off the mark. The ghosts line up the shots. But the ultras are just a little too slow. Boxed in by their counterparts. Another infester, though, catches some of the ghosts. EMP 
Oh, that's a lot of hits, but the Ultra's in turn. A lot of the ghosts go down. Takes out a Liberator. But Clem just choking off the base. He is annexing this part of the map. There's only one Ultra left over. Are there any more Infestors? EMPs the Vipers. Dodges the Corrosive Biles with the Liberator. Cuts off the Retreat. Are there enough units to back this up? One Siege Tank. Uh, the Ultras? Well, imploded. The Siege Tank is taken out, but it costs a lot of the Banelings to do so. And now, eight more Ultras on the way. Well, Clum doesn't have much gas in the bank. Raynor actually does. A nuclear missile is launched. Great corrosive vials knock out one or two of the Liberators. More snipes coming through. Raynor is not... Oh, he actually waited out the nuke. But he didn't move the spines. And they will be cleared out and the base softened up. The fact that Raynor has been allowed to mine from this base is already a Christmas miracle. But I think Clem is done with giving too many gifts. What happened here? Was that the Vipers who consumed this base, or is that just damage from earlier? Either way, the Zerglings make it through. Clear, kill another tank, but Raider doesn't have that much money in the bank. 18 Corruptors were built. Another Queen gun down. And Clem is sending in his workers here, saying, Sorry, this is our job site. You need to move along. All right, hello. 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 These worker drones, though. The Liberators, and he's building a planetary. Clem hardening his shell. His Terran Carapace here. And Raynor is desperately trying to hold on to anything. But it feels like Clem is just inexorably grinding his way through. He's locking, like... He has building armor. He's high sec auto tracking. He's getting the rest of his mech upgrades. Sees the top right corner. Like. Oh, oh, come on, Clem. Oh my God. He scans the entirety of, like he just, he just drops it down. A solar flare. He's got 10 orbital commands. All right, he's got full satellite coverage. At this point, like... I don't know. And you ask, if you ask how you break this. Well, somebody gets Sarah on the line. You neural parasite a ghost and EMP all the other ghosts. Or you neural parasite an SCV 12 times. Um, build a command center and go ghosts. <laughs> Rainer tried to hold on to this base. He tried to hold on to this position. But he's now lost. Oh my. Almost double the resources. Not too much more gas, but 10,000 more minerals. And Clem, he took maybe one step back, but he took two command centers forward. Just, he's got widow mines, turrets, the TPM, 19 turrets, one TPM, two more orbitals. Come on, Clem. Just continually Vendaya scanning here. Just trying to give... Rainer radiation burns. He's feeling burned right now. Maybe not by radiation. But, like, I've never seen 200 supply look so sad. That's not true. I have. And it's usually against Clem. Rainer is maxed out. Like, he can't build any more units. Not without, like, spore crawler tricking his way into more supply. And even then, right, will another 10 or 20 army supply make the difference? Vikings hit the deck. The ghosts are coming back. As soon as the depot is down, the Vikings will lift. <laughs> okay. He yanks out a liberator. He's trying. If the ghosts ever get a bead on these ultras, though.
Well, oh my god. Just that. Uh, uh, I guess you don't need... Some people would rather put it together an entire satellite coverage, like, global network of orbital commands than build a raven. All right. There's a nuke to the north side. The parasitic bomb is doing a lot of damage, actually. I feel like Clem kind of distracting himself. The nuke... He's, he's gunning down. Oh, the nuke flies off. But the broodlords are being shot down. There simply aren't enough broodlings, and he got the EMP on the infestors. The vipers turning neutral before they die, which is a weird graphical bug, as they desperately try to avoid getting sniped out. And Rainer... Just... I don't, I don't know. I mean, Clem isn't, he doesn't have that much in the bank. But it feels like the only reason he lost so much in this fight is he was trying to be fancy to the north with a nuke. But he slowly but surely just, with the weight of Terran superiority, just grinding through the map. And Rainer is pushed back further and further every time. There's no catching him off guard. There's scans everywhere. And sometimes the same place multiple times. He gets some more shots. Ray he's actually, like, there's still full gas at this base. Rainer didn't really mine gas from here at all. He's gonna get the top right corner for a while. Which is something. The ghosts continue their march, trying to light up the snipes. Rainer desperately trying to hit whatever he can. And that's a good fungal. Another one. The Broodlords. Oh, but the Vikings! He held on to him for just this moment. Huge counterattack. A lot of the ghosts are still intact. G, G, G. I don't know why Giant Grant Games is involved here, but this felt kind of like a campaign mission. Clem. With a decisive 3-0 victory. Raynor fought so hard, he got so far. And in the end, was crushed underfoot. And, well, whatever else. Under scan of the Terrans. Clem with a just dominant victory there. I don't know. Rainer played well, but Clem played near perfect. Ah, <sighs> well, hopefully that made your day a little bit better in one way or another. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you got the means of motivation, it'd be awesome to check out uh, Patreon, YouTube membership. But I hear liking and subscribing. Still free for now. Thank you for watching. If you haven't yet checked out the second channel, by the way, for more. Uh, stream bots, gameplay, content. Or if you're content with what you have here, it'd be awesome to check out the recommended for another cast. Otherwise, thank you for watching. Good luck, have fun. I'll see you next time. Stay chill.